You know, every day in the Tour de France is another long day. Everybody gets up early. There's 23 days, there's 23 different hotels. It's the most transient sporting spectacular in the world. But there's no routine day. The riders race along in that big pack. There's always something going on. It's certainly never boring. It's the same in any job, and for the professional cyclist, a cup of coffee and a pleasant chat starts the day nicely. After a drink, well-trained hands remind the rider that this is no ordinary working day, but one that requires special attention. No time to read the mail either. This is an outline of the route ahead, and to those riders who don't know the way, now is the time to learn. Early stars have the chance to sign autographs and enjoy a slice of glory. And there's even time to read about what people think of you. Laurent Fignon grabs a last-minute snack on his way to the start line. It's a long day. And just like in a factory, when the whistle blows, it's time to go to work. But not everybody's so keen. With up to seven hours pedalling ahead, there's no hurry. The day is young and the road is long. Even Felix Leviton, the organiser, is full of pleasantries for the workers. And for the moment, the lead is dormant and the badger rests among friends. A chance for Hyde to check his wounds of days gone by. Check your brakes, sir. No need to stop for this one. A problem with the cleats on your shoes? Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Ah, here's a rider with a knee problem. Hmm, it's not the only problem he's got. You know these long flat stages can become tedious and there's no better way than to tune into a little music, join the Navy, or just listen in stereo. And then if you're lucky along the route, you might just spot Papa and Mama. Mark Gomez, the ex-champion of France, has even had permission from the pack to go ahead and greet his family. What a friendly lot the riders can be at times, even though they don't stop to say hi. One basic rule in the Tour de France is that you must pedal all the way. No one says you have to stay on the road. Never underestimate the dangers of riding in a pack of over 200 riders. Elimination is just an elbow away. The miles tick by, and as the race this day approaches half distance, then lunch is taken. Riders snatch the sacks of food, and then, like squiddles, store it for the remaining miles ahead. Eno packs the food in his mouth rather than in his pockets. He's making ready with the rest for the metamorphosis that is about to take place. With lunch break over, Laurent Fignon calls on manager Cyril Guimard. And Greg Lamont prepares for the real work which will soon begin by putting on a hard hat. is now a challenging sight and the race picks up a tempo that only the best will match. French rivals Fignon and Eno in the sunglasses speak to each other but neither will give anything away. If fate strikes now, a bicycle change is the only chance you'll have of getting back to the race because the pleasantries of the morning are now a thing of the past. The tour is now in open flight and the huge crowds in the towns of France pack the streets to catch a glimpse of the peddlers of charm. Every day there are the adventurers like today's Johan van der Velde and Joel Pellier. They search for a stage win or even the yellow jersey. Sometimes the pack's interested, sometimes it's not. Van der Velde reads the route ahead and the two leaders this day form a partnership from which both can profit. Behind one team, the System U squad are left to work the hardest. After all, it's their man who has the yellow jersey. 
in front of a huge crowd von der Velde wins the stage and another long day in the office will end but there's plenty more to come the field behind have been beaten this time but with prizes for the first 80 to finish there's plenty to race for and the photograph will decide the winners and what a day for von der Velde he gained enough time to take the lead for the first time in his life after the race it's time to think about one thing preparing for tomorrow's race Every day, the team mechanics take each and every bike completely apart, clean them up, and then reassemble them once again. While the athletes sleep, these guys work well into the night and are then up at dawn getting the gear race ready. Since there's a new finish line every day, someone's got to tear this stuff down and then put it back up again. 600 of these crowd control barriers have to be put away. The 500 members of the press have split town, so their area has to be dismantled. 350 of these volunteers, each of them, have the unenviable task of preparing the arenas for 24 days of the world's most grueling bike race. And they have to have it set up by 7 a.m. next day. By the way, the guy who runs the operation is a former colonel in the French Foreign Legion. The Tour de France, live in concerts and always on the road. to the Badger, Bernardino. Will he and Greg LeMond finally make a move against Laurent Fignon's system? The answer may come along the ocean that carried the allies of days gone by. Really?